Tonight we are learning new details about the suspect accused of shooting a police officer at Shawnee Park on Sunday night. That officer's bulletproof vest stopped that bullet. LNPD says officers returned fire and then hit Herbert Lee, who remains in the hospital tonight. Lee, who police say was wanted on 12 warrants, has a long history with police. WHS 11's Rachel Droz has been looking closer into the cases involving him and tonight looking into Lee's history of getting into trouble again. Trying to get a better understanding of all of Lee's charges, when he was sentenced, and when he was released, I spent the day digging through files at the courthouse. Herbert Lee has had several stints in prison since his first conviction in 2010. In many instances, court records show Lee is charged with new crimes before the sentence handed down by the judge in a prior case is complete. For example, in March of 2013, Lee was sentenced to three years in prison, but charged with another crime 11 months later in February of 2014. In October of 2014, Lee was sentenced to 10 years in prison, but charged with another crime four years later in October of 2018. Those charges did not lead to a conviction. In May of 2019, Lee was sentenced to two years in prison, but again faced new criminal charges in December of 2020. Depending on the crime a person is convicted of, they may be able to be released early under Kentucky law. That's because most people are eligible for parole after serving at least 20% of their sentence. For more serious crimes like capital offenses, a person must serve either 50% or 85% of their sentence, depending on when that conviction happened. It doesn't mean you will be released, but you're eligible for release. State Representative Jason Nemes, who's also an attorney, says the goal with allowing people to get out on parole is to reduce the number of future victims, while also helping to get people with criminal convictions the help they need. We think uh, incentivizing those types of programs is that education, job, uh, you know, workforce kind of things, uh, drug treatment. Also, uh, my brother being a corrections officer, this is something that means something to me personally. We and we we want the particular defendant to have an incentive to behave while they're in in jail or in prison. In Louisville, Rachel Droz, WHAS 11 on your side.